Good morning, folks. We're watching a plasma filament dance over the northwestern limb. We've got yet another volcano, weather alerts, and cosmic rays. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star were relatively calm. We are still staring down massive coronal holes. There are no sunspots and therefore still no solar flares, as you can see here in 171 angstroms. No bright regions, just a blank disk. The solar wind did intensify as expected yesterday. Speed ramped up as the density dropped out. What had been virtually no magnetic perturbations turned into slightly stronger perturbations as the afternoon wore on as we entered a geomagnetic storm. It was just at the lowest level. We do expect more coming from these coronal holes, certainly faster streams and more geomagnetic activity. But of course, we are going to be watching the lithosphere as well, and we can report this morning yet another volcano is erupting. This one in the Northeast Indian Ocean, that entire island is basically a volcano, and you should be able to see the crater outline of a much, much larger explosion in the past. This is the overnight footage coming in from Oklahoma. Definitely appears a tornado tore through the region. We are going to go ahead here with the GO-16 and the Ram V slider taking a look at day-night cloud phase and the lightning overlay so you can see the power that came up through that system in the middle of the country. Let's take a look at the weather alerts. There is that system that is coming up through the Gulf and aiming at Florida and Georgia. We can see here that one model has its impact on Wednesday. The other one probably won't happen until Thursday. Either way, definitely need to have eyes open in the Gulf. Over in the East Pacific, much of the same story, no change to the forecast here. After jumping Baja, this system is going to run up into the U.S. Southwest. Eyes open there as well. Let's go to cosmic rays now, and a confirmation that the most powerful, the ultra-high energy cosmic rays, cosmic ray nuclei, are coming from extragalactic sources. Well, that's the particle. How about the wave? Adding to the list of all the things that can make gamma rays in the universe, are the jets of microquasars. These aren't happening at the jet source or at the active nucleus of the interaction. They're happening far out within the jet due to high energy particle collisions. Last but not least here, folks, a story about Oklahoma and earthquakes. Interestingly, this one kind of comes across at first as almost a joke paper saying that the drop in oil prices has dropped the number of earthquakes in Oklahoma, almost as if someone's trying to sneak one through as a prank. But indeed, as the price of oil drops, so do the seismic actions in Oklahoma. It turns out that when there's more incentive to be breaking the rock, they break more rock, sort of builds on all of that injection post-fracking earthquake induction. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org had another deeper look out last night. It's on 46P Wurtnen, what's supposed to be the comet of the year, coming in just a few weeks. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 425 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.